Previously on Uongozi. We cannot discriminate the choice on the basis of air. He is not creative. We, we need to agree. Let us have a solution here. It's me on the floor. Give, uh, I'm, 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 I'm being cooperative. We have forum. Excuse me. Guys, we have forum. The next editions for Uongozi took place in Garissa town, the market and economic hub of Garissa County in northeastern Kenya. Garissa town is a distance of 382 kilometers from Nairobi and lies along the Tana River. By 8 a.m., the contestants had started streaming in. There were 60 contestants from 12 different counties, namely Garissa, Wajir, Meru, Tharakanithi, Lamu, Tana, Masabit, Samburu, Embu, Isiolo, Mandera, and Kitui County. Each of these contestants is hoping for a spot in the final 16 and ultimately to be the Kiongozi. The winner will get a six-month leadership prize which will include an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents, Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shilling stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shilling grant to implement a public project of their choice. The contestants came with clear expectations. Kumanjina naitua Geoffrey Jue na nimetoka Embu County. Mutajio yangu ni kuona kama Kenya imesimama kimala. The place of leadership is beyond the powers of positions. Wajifo ki understand that uko maali si sapapu hiyo maali uko na power siflani uko hiyo maali ndiyo safu watu basi my name is Zainab Wario Galma. I'm from Isiolo County. I'm expecting that the leaders will be able to change and the ones who are coming on board as we are approaching the general election will have good leaders who will have vision and will be able to turn the vision to something that will be able to make us Kenyan to be where others will see us. I've always believed that I can achieve anything I put my mind to. And that is one of the qualities that I think and I believe that a leader should have. Three judges were chosen from a wide panel to oversee the Garissa audition. Boniface Mwangi, an activist from Kenya Nikwetu, Samir Omar, a human rights activist from Lamu, and Mweni Lundi, an activist and an artist. And as the sun rose over Garissa, it was all systems go. The judges too had clear expectations of what they were looking for. They're looking for solutions to the problems they face in the community uh, because in, we believe in uh, local solutions for local problems. So from the community they come from, what is the problem? And what, they, what have they been doing about it? Personally, trying to fit um, the shoes of what a good leader is. Uh, one, before it, we have to ourselves define who is a good leader. So look at integrity, honesty, and um, someone who's innovative in finding solutions for Kenya. We're in a transition, and most people have said, Kwamba, Kwa Kati Hu, we are not going to see many changes in this country. And uh, as a result, people have sat back and said, oh, because we're not going to change anything, why bother at all? But we're saying, we have to start somewhere with these changes. We have to break the cycle in terms of leadership. Leaders in Ategemea Sandimiako, leaders in Ategemea Unapesangapi, Nakadalika. And we say, let's give the opportunity to new people. First to face the judges was Elizabeth Duya from Lamu County. So, was she nervous? I'm a little bit tensed. Otherwise, I'm ready for the challenge. Elizabeth, Karibu. How will you help Lamu? Let's get mm. very specific. For instance, there is the issue of education. The education system, okay, the education is there, but I can see like boys in Lamu uh, are not going to school. Actually, they reach a certain level and they don't continue. They involve themselves in drugs and all that. So that is a challenge there. So my main aim is to go there and find out what is making these people engage in drugs. So you don't even know the reason? No, I know. What is it? Mm. The problem, okay, these people, okay, the youths in Lamu, I'm giving that example, are not going to school because most of, okay, there's poverty and also there's the issue of drugs. This is what I'm going to do. I mobilize the youths 
I talk to them about the importance of education and the effects of using drugs. Why are you not doing it? Because you're saying you can. Why haven't you done it? Why aren't you doing it now? Okay, I've been in campus. I just graduated. I've not had the opportunity to be there and actually, but when I was there, I involved myself in such activities. I attended drug, drug education seminars. I involved myself with the youth. I was in the Lamu Youth Polytechnic. I was teaching them, not on drugs, but I was offering them some small courses. So I, I can actually identify with the youths. Daudin from Wajir County was next. So why do you want to be a leader? I want to be a leader to be able to change the course of history in this country. I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah, so when I say that to change the course of history in this country is how we are doing business. It's pretty start from even time management up to the level of execution. If you look at it from that point, then a leader should at any one time, when you say it is this, then it should be that. Not it is because of this. There should be no third parties trying to interrupt you. Be, be a bit specific. Don't say this, that. Okay. Be specific. Take an example. Yeah. You say we meet here at 10. Yes. You come at 10.30. Yes. That is no leadership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went very well. I hope it's going to be the best. We'll wait for the outcome. Some of the contestants had an interesting take on various issues. Nasema kwamba wakati moyo alikuwa kiongozi Kenya ilikuwa nchi bora. Kwa nini? Wakati moyo alikuwa kiongozi sijaona hii mambo ya vifo kweli zikitokezea. Ulikuwa mdogo, ulikuwa wakati moyo alitoka usukani ulikuwa na mika 17. Hata kama ni mdogo lakini I have to sense. Paka unakuwa na hiyo sense of humor kuna mtu fulani mali fulani amekufa. But si kwa hiyo sikia report kama hiyo. Kwa hivyo moyo alikuwa kiongozi bora. Congratulate him. Ulisema unataka kuwa kiongozi. Ndio nilisema. Mhm, mm kwa nini? Ah, kusaidia nchi sababu matatizo yuko mengi, viongozi ambao wako wanashindwa na kutatua mahitaji ya wananchi. Wewe utatatua aje shida za vihiga? Shida za vihiga nitaona vile naweza tatua. <laughs> Utaona. Nikuulize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, wewe ni mzee yeah. na wakati unataka vijana kuwa viongozi. Yeah. Uone kwamba mtu na muda kwa kiongozi. Ah uh, sasa hii waongozi wazee vijana bado sisi wazee ndio tunafaa sababu tuna uzee ni nguli sababu sisi tuna akili ya kutosha. Vijana hawajapitia raha. Kwa hivyo hawana akili ya kutosha. Yeah, Hawaja koma sasa mm. paka wa. Kwa hivyo waachie wazee. Wazee wa... sasa watatue matatizo yao. Leo ni leo. Mimi ni safari mzoka mbali sana nataka wajiri. Mhm. Mm watu <laughs> Kenya wa, kwa sababu uh, watu wazae ni poa. Kwa ni miti ya matupande mira. Mm. Wanda tupande miti ya matupande mira. Miti ya mamira? Mm. E, tupande miti. Miti. Kwa ni? Mm. Mira hata nasa tupande mira. Tupande mira, mm -hmm. lakini hata mira zi ni miti. Kwa <laughs> hivyo <laughs> tupande zote. <laughs> si hivyo tupande mira umepanda miti. Yes. Nono tupande mira umepanda miti. Wani miti ni nisi ni mira? Sawa. Asante sana, Festus. And if you are wondering how hot it was under the spotlight, you can ask Hassan from Mandera County. Uh, you wrote about creating employment through innovation. How are you going to do that? What are you going to innovate? Innovation, I mean, um, if uh, like today uh, there are many youth who, who have an idea in their mind, but they can't get it out of their mind because they think uh, it is useless, it, it may not go on. So those, those, those guys who have ideas. What are those ideas? You see, you're talking about those... Idea. Do... Idea can mean by uh, just... They're very about... abstract. No, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Idea can mean... I, I think it's a sweat. bit hot. Do you want... I can help you. Karimu, no, no, I, I'm, I'm feeling you. You're right under the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a natural. I'm a natural. 
coming up on Uongozi. Wisdom is a kind of spirit and renowned gift, blasphemy after the guilt of his ones. Because God is the only listener of the innermost feelings and the true observer of mind and soul. Welcome back. Today, we are in Garissa town for the second edition of Uongozi. So far, the judges have interviewed some of the 60 contestants, but the process is still far from over. We're looking for people who have gone beyond the ideas, and then Uongozi is going to be a bigger platform for them to take them to the next level. I must admit that I'm so much honored to be one of the contestants in this uh, Uongozi initiative because I believe this is a platform for me as an individual, as a youth, and as a person with a disability to air my view on what I think, I believe, and I believe that is the best uh, qualities, characters uh, for, uh, for, for a good leader. Anthony, you said that you're a youth leader, you are a journalist, you are a teacher, you are a spokesperson for people with disabilities in your, in your area. You're right. From that, you're already in a, in a leadership position. Sure. What more do you want in terms of being a leader? Um, what can you achieve that you want another position to achieve? Um, okay, basically what I can say about that, in most of those leadership positions, I've been working as a volunteer. But for now, I wish I had the chance to sit together in the table that uh, members of parliament sit or maybe county, uh, county assembly members are going to be sitting so that we can together make policies that are going to favor uh, the future of those people that I'm fighting for. I'd like to ask you, what would you tell that person back at home watching you, uh, how you overcame, overcame a disability, it used to be a weakness, not a strength. What would you tell them to encourage them to be strong? Um, what I would uh, like to tell the people with disabilities out there is that um, a time has come that we must accept what we are and then uh, turn this weakness into into a strength. Again, I tell people that I, ha I don't have a disability. It's a disability that has me. And actually, I give it a lot of headache because nothing stops me from achieving what I want to achieve. So I will also want to tell them that uh, they have to believe in themselves and they can achieve anything they put their mind to. When I listen to you, I feel like you crammed what you came to say in here. Is it possible that you can tell us what you're passionate about and then tell us about the problems in Mandera? and talk like you have life, like, oh, 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 please. There are no NGOs in Mandera who is particip currently participating in civic education. The first start in Mandera County is to, to start civic education, civic education itself. We are way behind other counties like Nairobi. There are lots of activism, uh, 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 civic education in Nairobi, but Mandera is behind. There is no civic education. Well, I'm not nervous because uh, one has said that to be through or miss. So why would you like to become a leader? Well, um, <clears throat> definitely it's just uh, to move people from where they are because, uh, you know, the leadership, let me say in the country, you know, has been having a lot of politics. They, like, like in our days, they don't want to follow the constitution. We made a constitution ourselves, but you find that uh, most leaders are just the ones who are neglecting and ignoring maybe court orders, that kind of a thing. <clears throat> Why do you feel you should be provided the opportunity for leadership, considering that you have already retired, as opposed to a young person? Why? Ume retire sasa, inafao, kaya nyumbani urelax, enjoy mali yako, ngombe zako, uachie vijana ikazi. Oh, fine. That's very good, actually. But uh, there is this saying that uh, palipo na wase, apa wiki jambo. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Asante sana. My expectations are a lot, because I learn more and even learn to learn about myself, my capability. Tuambi kukuhusu, unaito nani, unatoka wapi, unapenda kufanya nini? My name is Grace Guyatu from Marsabet County. I'm a mother to one. I'm 26 years old. I got my first born child when I was 16 years old. And that is a living testimony for younger mothers. I dropped out of school 
And then after getting my firstborn child, I went back to Form 1 and completed my O-level education. Well done. That's very good. Now, uh, to take you to your form, uh, yeah. you had a very interesting answer. You said that uh, you helped a pedestrian once and uh, they robbed you. Um, yeah. Can you tell us more about that? And then I'd like to know um, if what happened after. Uh, would you have uh, been okay if there was mob justice to catch uh, that pedestrian who mobbed you? No, it was uh, a very funny scenario. But uh, I, I didn't, uh, I was shocked, I, I, I couldn't manage, he was, somebody was so strong. So I just decided to let it go. What exactly happened? Okay, he was a pedestrian, he wanted some directions and uh, he told me, okay, I'm lost, uh, you know, I, and he told me he's so desperate and he needs some attention. Okay, I told him what is the problem. You know, when I just came down of the car, then he told me, you know, I was robbed, I don't have anything cash. And okay, I told him, okay, let me, let's go to the nearest ATM, I'll help you out. And I gave him champagne. Okay, then you know what? Uh, give me all that you have. He came out with a knife, and then I decided, okay, let it go. Uh, to my next question, uh, would you have been okay if a crowd of people came in to help you and uh, beat him up? Mm. Mob justice. Mob justice? No, Against I, him? I, no, 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 no. I don't allow that. That is inhuman. A mob justice is inhuman. Maybe uh, th there are some reasons maybe that made him to do that. Maybe it's out of hunger. We never know. You know, you cannot judge what made him to do that action. <laughs> Some contestants were simply full of wisdom and they gladly shared it. So tell us your name, uh, tell us about yourself. What do you do? Where do you come from? What are you passionate about? I'm an artist, a fine artist and also a poet. Oh. I do spoken word. Give us a spoken word about leadership. Leadership is a matter of having wisdom. So I have there may be this to, to you. Yes. As the wisdom is a kind of spirit that we now give blasphemy after the guilt of his ones. Because God is the only listener of the innermost feelings and the true observer of mind and soul. So if you want to win the nation, listen to wisdom and you'll reign forever. You say you want to follow the footsteps of uh, the freedom fighters uh, from their earlier years. What the freedom fighters did was go into the forest and fight physical for this country. And you're saying those are the first steps you want to follow. Are those the actions that you want to talk about to the people? What is it exactly that you will be doing? Uh, to change a little bit of what I actually think of the freedom fighters and uh, because they have met one of them, it's not about, it was not about actually fighting in the forest and what have you. They wanted the free education. They wanted the free health and uh, free health and uh, what have you. First thing, they wanted want the country to have things moving in the light in the light that's one thing but what did they do about it and that's what you're asking what are you doing now what are the actions remember you said vision and action vision and acts what are you doing what are your actions right now right as now, a leader as a leader yes. right now where yes. i am now where, you where are. i come from and from embo county i have a group i have a, i've started a talent academy of uh, small boys at the phone girls and actually one of them now has a consent his pieces to do vienna italy he is earning from uh, selling those pieces of art. So I'm actually trying to, to empower them. I'm relaxed. I know I have to give my best and be myself. We realize that you are actually the first contestant to arrive here. Congratulations, first and foremost. But that also shows your eagerness and uh, Wongozibora to be selected as a leader. Why do you want to be a leader? So eagerly, so, you know. I want to be a leader so that I can change what we are passing through. Because the leaders we are having now, they are heartless, corrupt, and inhuman. I can give Those that... Those are very strong words. Yeah, because... <laughs> Why I, do you say that? I can give that comparing what we are passing through as a people of Isiolo County from the leader we are having. What's happening? What's the problem? One thing, every day there is bandits, there is cattle rustling. People are being killed like houseflies. But the leader whom we have elected for the five years, he just stays in Nairobi. The day that he wants to campaign is when he comes. Other contestants had beaten the odds to make it to the additions. We learned that you were the only person, contestant, who came in from Samburu. 
And not only that, but you actually hired a vehicle to come all this way. Yes. Why this hunger for leadership that is provided by this uh, forum? Okay, actually, I believe I'm already a leader because uh, even starting an organization in Samburu, it's called Samburu Girls Foundation. We rescue young girls from harmful cultural practices, including early first marriages, FGM, and bidding. I think for those of you who watched bidding on NTV the other day, that's what Samburu girls are going through. They're not going to school. That's uh, illiteracy in Samburu County is at very high percentage, 90%. Uh, the current leaders we have, especially the local leaders, like the chiefs, councillors, most of them have not gone to school. So that's affecting any development towards in, in form of education in that county. So that's one thing that has really, that's giving us a challenge even as we do our work. We are a young organization, like six months old, but we already have like 60 girls in the project. We want to change the, the outlook to leadership in that county. We want to bring change. And I think, I believe the leadership we need is leadership that puts education forward in that county. My name is Enok Njenga Gitao, Garissa County. Walking around Garissa, I realized that there's a lot of idling around because the biggest factors that I'm sure it's even in other parts of the country is unemployment. Garissa used to create our own like textile and you know make our own clothes from from the factories that are now dead because of you know like uh, uh, poor leadership through not following it up. My focus is on reviving these industries. Enok Njenga Gitao. Yeah, that's my name. Very good, Abariako. Uh, salam. Tell us about yourself. My name is Enok Njenga, born yes. and raised in Garissa, uh, school dear. I'm an artist, um, community mobilizer. What kind of art do you do? Uh, I'm an artist. I, I rap and I sing. I do music. Please rap for us, man. Let's even make it more spe specific. Rap about the key problems that are facing your constituency. I rap? Yes. yes. Okay. We are tired of this poverty, lack of proper leadership, no visionary in the way they're doing things. I'm sad about it, no justice in the way they're implementing these kind of things. It's like leadership is for the camera flashlights. There is really no transparency in the way they do these things. Passing through corners in the dark nights, making deals under the table, and we youths keep on suffering like we ain't right so implicated or sub or obligated to you know pass uh yeah yeah so you have a, your problem here is leadership what will you bring in that will be different from what people are doing right now uh, i will be that uh, that kind of a politician or, or, or a political leader that looks into what garissa county has for example that is what our leaders are not doing right now garissa used to be exporting watermelons for example that is farming, right? We're talking about uh, 60s, 70s, where we, we had the Catholic Church planting white watermelons exported up to the White House in America. These are some of the potential that we've lost because of poor leadership over the years. Uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, a, a, a giraffe park in Garissa. Not so many Kenyans know that. That can be one major milestone in terms of tourism. Um, and, and, and farming, we, we can make farming sexy for the youth, for example. Oh, how do you do that? How, do you make how will you do it? that? Yeah? How do you do that? First, uh, when I'm the political leader mm -hmm. uh, and, and I set up, uh, you know, like policies and encourage uh, uh, and put incentives into, into farming, and, 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 and me being the, their edge bracket and them seeing the, the, the passion I have for that kind of adventure is one encouragement. But other than the obvious leadership qualities, all the contestants had one thing in common. How do you describe a member of parliament? Watch us. Watch us. <laughs> they are an epitome of, uh, of greedy highness. And therefore within a farm buyer. He wants to suck my land. I mean, so to suck my land, the land of the safana. As the sun set in Garissa town, the judges were left with the task of deliberating on the 12 contestants out of the 60 that would make it to the second round of additions.